Jim, that's a winning beginning to the season. How happy were you with the performance? Yeah, of course. I mean, first and foremost, delighted to get the win. Um, you know, a couple of decent goals. Uh, the clean sheet was always important as well. And um, and yeah, I mean, look, there's no, we're not going to get too many pats on the back for for beating Peterhead. You know, you're on a hiding to nothing almost as the Premier League team in this competition because the expectation is there for you to win every game and to to qualify to the next stage, and rightly so. But you know, I, I was really really pleased with the the attitude and the and the application of the players today. You know. Um, they certainly didn't show um, Peter had any lack of respect. You know, they they went about their business properly in the right manner. Uh, led brilliantly by by Anthony Stewart at the back, uh, talking and organising. I thought him, himself and Scales were excellent together. Um, you know, you would expect them to do well, but they still have to do the basics well. I, I can't remember either of them losing a header all afternoon. Um, and yeah, I, I just you know really pleased. I I think Jim McAnally and his his Peterhead players deserve a lot of credit as well for the first half. They were organised. Uh, they made life difficult for us. They frustrated us. I've been there as the Alloa manager before when you play against the Premier League team and the aim of the game is to try and just drag it out for as long as you can and nil-nil, hope you get a, a goal on the counter-attack or a set play and and they nearly did at nil-nil in the second half. You know, with the, the one attack they had in the in the second 45, Kel Roos had to make a, a really, really good save. So please for Kel as well because the concentration levels need to be high for that particular position, especially when you've got very little to do. So, uh, all in all, Rob, I've got to be satisfied with the, the day's work. Christian Ramirez is back in the old routine. I think the fans still have doubts in their minds about whether he's going to be here for the season. What would you say? No, listen, Christian, as far as I'm concerned, is under contract um, to Aberdeen. And he's, um, you know, he's not came kicking my door down demanding that he wants to go home. Um, you know, he he respects the supporters, he respects the club. As far as I'm aware, he enjoys life in Aberdeen. And um, I think he showed that today in his performance. You know, he's he's back among the goals, which is where we want him to be. He had a disappointing end to the season. I think he would openly admit that himself. But his attitude throughout pre-season, I have to say, has been excellent. So, um, you know, we spoke about that in the build-up to these group games, that it's an opportunity for the forward players to to get off the mark early, get that bit of confidence early on. It doesn't matter who you're scoring goals uh, against as a striker, it still gives you that bit of self-belief. And um, Christian will be delighted with his day's work. We should have had some more goals, there's no doubt about that. You know, we had one chalked off, Ross McCrory's hit the bar, the keeper made a great save on that one as well. Uh, we should have had another penalty possibly, so I don't think there could have been too many arguments if it was five or six, but I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the two. Matty Kennedy looks as if he could be one big bonus for you this season. He was very much injury affected last time around, uh, but he looks really sharp and really confident. Yeah, and, and look, I have to give credit to, to Kevin Bain. You know, since I've came in in February, we've made so many changes, you know, not just on the playing staff with uh, the amount of players that we've left go, but also behind the scenes with, you know, with Kevin Bain coming in as the, the, the head of medical and sports science, Craig Sampson coming in as the head of goalkeeping. Um, but Kevin does deserve a huge pat on the back because he's took little to no time off uh, during the summer. He's gave Matty so many one-to-one -one sessions and Matty, in fairness to him, is really committed to those sessions as well. Hence why we're starting to, to get him on the pitch more. He's not missing any training sessions anymore. Um, so, yeah, hopefully Matty will go from strength to strength. He's not quite as fit or as sharp as what I would like him to be or as what I remember him being two or three seasons ago. So we still need to keep pushing him but in fairness to the young man he's he's determined to get there because he knows that last season was extremely disappointing and he wants to show the fans why you know he's been brought here as an Aberdeen player so he's almost like a new signing if uh, if you look at it that way four new signings in the team today and another one will join the party next week i think Yilber Ramadani yeah uh, really pleased with the competitive debuts of the, the the four new boys that you mentioned um but of course you know we're looking forward to getting Ramadani and Mayovsky in the country, um, Ilber has been very patient. Uh, you know, there's a couple of um, issues with his visa application. You know, he should have been with the group in Spain, and they got delayed. But thankfully, um, with all the hard work of our legal team, um, we were able to get him here now tomorrow. So he'll arrive in Aberdeen tonight, late on at some point, and uh, he'll join in with the group tomorrow. And he'll be he's desperate to get going. Mayovsky probably another seven to ten days before that one gets approved. Um, so yeah. We'll be really, really looking forward to getting them integrated into the group and showing the supporters as well, you know, why we've opted for those two players in particular. Um, we're not done yet either, Rob. You know, no. I think it's worth mentioning that, you know, we 
I still think we're a little bit short in, uh, in, in the creative element of the team, and you know, in terms of uh, having more attacking options. Obviously, Mayovsky will give us that anyway, but um, I still think we need. Uh, possibly another one, two attacking midfielders, even another winger as well, just to sort of we can change things up. It's not to replace anybody in the squad that we've got at the moment. It's just to give us more attacking options. Um, you know, half an hour to go there where people are looking a little bit tired and things maybe aren't quite happening for us. It would be great to turn around to the bench and make three or four like for like changes. And that's what you want. That's what all the big teams have got. You know, when you look at all of the big squads all around Europe, they've got fantastic options from the bench as well as the guys who start the game. So that's where we want to be eventually. That's where we want to get to. Uh, we are a big team and that's the kind of options we should have coming off the bench. And just finally, Jim, do we have to get used to life after Lewis Ferguson? Is he pretty much Bologna bound? Um, yeah, I mean, look, there's no point pulling the wool over anyone's eyes, particularly our supporters. Um, you know, there's... Uh, been plenty of speculation around Lewis. Uh, Bologna have showed a serious interest. Um, I'm led to believe that they have met the valuation put on him by the club. Um, Lewis has agreed personal terms and it's now about Lewis going to Italy and passing the medical. So you're always hasting to talk about it as a club um, before it's all signed because it could break down at any given moment. But um, it's out there. Everybody's talking about it. Um, so yeah, th there is truth in that one um, and I think you know I speak on behalf of the board of directors the players my staff and no doubt the supporters as well I think we wish Lewis every success if that one does come off because he's given Aberdeen four very good years he's scored a number of goals from midfield and um, you know he's told us that he would like to try an, a new challenge and um, a different culture and a different country and I've got a Congratulate him for that. I think it's a brave move for a young kid. So um, we wish him well if and when it all gets sealed. Yeah, good luck to him. Well done today. Uh, and we'll see you at Audrey Wednesday night for the Dumbarton game. Thanks very much. Cheer up.